In today's video, we will show you how you can use Incredibuild to accelerate multi-process execution. First, I would like to show you the principle behind DevTools acceleration and in what way Incredibuild can accelerate any development tool in your toolbox. Then, as an example, I will demonstrate how Incredibuild accelerates Handbrake, the popular video conversion tool. In order to better understand how Incredibuild can accelerate your multi-process tool, let's assume that you have a process that must be executed numerous times, such as simulation, test, or QA task. Usually, we will execute those tasks one after another. For example, when I execute four dummy processes, the processes are executed one after another. If our serial execution was written in a batch file, we will have to adjust it slightly. Incredibuild will now convert the sequential execution into a parallel execution. This accelerates build time by allowing Incredibuild to use all available cores. By executing Incredibuild, we can see that the four processes are being executed in parallel using my four local cores. Most of you probably heard of the wonderful Handbrake tool, which converts all kinds of videos from a variety of formats to many widely supported codecs. Handbrake has a useful batch feature, which will convert videos one after another. This can also be done using the command line. I've created a batch file with 10 videos. Each video file is between 30 to 60 megabytes, and I will convert them to a low resolution using Handbrake. I will fast forward the process of running the batch file. We can see that the files are being converted one after another. The total conversion time takes 2 minutes, 17 seconds. Now in order to set Incredibuild to convert all those images in parallel, we have to add the XG submit command. After running Incredibuild, you can see in the build monitor that all the 10 videos are being converted in parallel. Unlike with a regular handbake process, which performs this operation in a serial manner on a single core. With Incredibuild, Handbrake is now using 10 cores. As you can see in this example, we are not only using all four of the original cores on our local computer, but we are also connected to an additional six cores on the network. If the task required a very large number of executions, Incredibuild would be able to tap into the network to access as many idle cores as necessary. Because we were able to use underutilized cores throughout our network, the video conversion time took only 39 seconds, whereas previously it took over two minutes. This is roughly a 70% decrease. If we compare the conversion time of Handbrake with and without Incredibuild, we can see a dramatic difference between a serial video conversion and a parallel video conversion, three and a half times faster. In this video, I have demonstrated how Incredibuild can be easily used to accelerate any multi-process tool. We also saw how easy it was to set Incredibuild to accelerate Handbrake. If you have any further questions, you can refer to the link below or simply contact Yoni Davidson, our professional service manager, by email.